Saturday night, Las Vegas plays host to UFC card headlined by a pivotal bantamweight bout as former champion Piotr Jan meets Marab Dwalashvili. Piotr Jan enters the octagon in unfamiliar territory Saturday night, having dropped three of his last four fights. Prior to his DQ loss to current Bantamweight King Aljamain Sterling, Jan was riding a 10-fight winning streak, including an undefeated UFC run that saw victories over standouts such as Uriah Faber and Jose Aldo. Now, Jan looks to show no mercy when he hopes to return to form by beating an up-and-comer who has momentum on his side. Fighting out of Long Island, New York, the Georgian Marab Dwalashvili has been grinding his way through the Bantamweight ranks, earning six straight victories. This run has seen dominant decisions over top-shelf opponents, including Cody Stamen and Jose Aldo. Saturday, he'll look to continue his streak by taking out a former champion. Coming up next, Dean Thomas breaks down Saturday night's main event as Piotr Jan faces the machine, Rob Dwalashvili. This is MMA Math. And we're back with another edition of MMA Math brought to you by UFC Fight Pass with none other than myself, Dean Thomas, breaking down the science. Next up on the docket, we got a banger with two of the best and the deepest division in the UFC right now. That's right, I said it, it's the deepest division, it's the best division in the UFC right now, and that is the Bantamweight division. We got Marab West Philly versus Piotr Jan, and oh my God, this is the type of fight that gives me goosebumps. Piotr Jan is a savage among savages. And I'm sure he's even extra savage now because he's coming up off a loss against Sean O'Malley in a fight that many people, including myself, thought he won. But regardless, it is still an L on his record. And he's one of the best pocket punchers, terrorizing in your face type of fighter. And he's very difficult to take down. Now let's talk about his opponent, Marab Dweshvili. Now he's on a different level in terms of grit and tenacity. And this is a true story. I watched this man do 60 pull-ups in a dress shirt on the scaffolding on the streets of New York City. True story. But the most outstanding aspect of his game is his MMA wrestling which I believe he's top three in the UFC. Yeah, top three. I can't find many guys better. Now, if this fight was three rounds, I would certainly pick Marab to win. But this is a five round fight in which Jan thrives. Now, I'm sure he's looking to eradicate that loss to O'Malley. So this makes him extra, extra dangerous. But with that said, I still believe that Marab's pace and his transitions could be the deciding factor and it's difficult to bet against him. Plus, he trains with my boy Matt Serra. Hard to go against Matt Serra when Matt Serra is in the corner or Matt Serra in general. Hard to go against him, but we will see. Until then, I'm Dean Thomas and this is MMA Math on UFC Fight Pass.